We back with another one. On this one, we are at Trish. Y'all remember Trish from popping up on my um, show the other day. She popped up on my show the other day and her and Anaya got into a debacle. Trish is the self-proclaimed queen. I mean, my bad. Empress of Beef Sector 8. Her little sector that she created. Let We're about to let her know that Petty Springer is on location and we're live. Let's see what they talking about. She stay with some good gossip going on over here. And so Clyde actually, Clyde Diva, with her California raisin ass, she called herself trying to drag me because... Not Clyde Diva, ma'am. Clyde is going to drag you for calling her a California raisin looking ass. She, she's going to drag you, ma'am. I don't know who you are, but she's going to drag you. Smash it. She got mad because she was dragging Suge and she was doing decently, but she was lying and she was she started to fall off. So at that time, it was fuck Calgon every, all day, every day. So when I saw her dragging him, I was like, this bitch needs help. So I went up there to help the bitch, and we get to talking, and I'm, I start saying about how, oh, you know, because, you know, the whole origin story came up, and Logic's name came So she's naming a whole bunch of people. And if this is the same Logic that I know that'd be on the Lapeef show, sir, you owe me guns for my wedding present, and I want my guns, Logic. You're going to make me hit the panel on the Lapeef show and call you out, sir. I want my guns. But again... So, you know, Logic's a weirdo. I said so. She's agreeing with me. Then I mentioned how Shug said he wanted me to have his baby and stuff like that. And I didn't notice how she what? really had like, a strange what? face when I said that. Mm-hmm. Run that back. Like, Run that back. Yeah, so when I said, so Shug was talking... <laughs> I can't do it. So, <laughs> those gems are fucking funny. So basically, she got mad because when we were comparing notes, when we were comparing our ship notes, she got mad because he wanted to talk about having babies with me. Not Suge notes. So apparently, Uncle Suge has been going around YouTube fucking the shit out these hoes. No, no disrespect to any of you women. I'm just saying it's a general term. But he been he been out here fucking the shit out these hoes on YouTube. I don't know how. I don't know the man, but I've heard his name connected to a lot of women on YouTube. And as you just heard this lady say, they compared Suge notes, and he said he wanted her to have his baby. That's what she said. Apparently, he didn't talk about that with her, and she got really upset. I didn't know that's what she was upset about until somebody the next day was like, so the next day, Clyde Diva called herself doing a live. I'm in Walmart, okay? I'm in I, I, I'm in the South a lot of times nowadays. So I'm in Walmart, and I see Clyde Diva, and I'm like, okay, so she said she has questions for me. I'm not thinking she's going to call herself trying to drag me. I'm like, no. Ma'am, Clyde Diva is from the beef sector. You knew she was going to drag you. That that came next. Y'all compared Suge notes. You was going to get dragged. So... Then all of a sudden, I hear this bitch trying to get out of pocket, and I'm like, Clyde, don't don't drag me, please. I'm just giving commentary on the commentary. Please don't drag me, Claire. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Let me tell this dusty ass, lonely ass, broke bitch what the fuck the real deal is. But you're not about to talk to me like that. Who the fuck do you think you are? So I'm confused, and I'm like, okay, you have questions, Clyde. Do that. I was like, no problem. I'll answer your questions. She was, and she, I, and I didn't realize she was trying to be shady, right? So she's trying to tell me. Yeah, and then she doesn't know how to approach me because she's thinking, I don't know what she's thinking, but when I'm telling her, yes, if you have questions, I'll answer them, it's because I'm not thinking she's being shady. So she's, I think the way she responded to me was with confusion. She didn't know where I was coming from, which ended up working in my favor because that's how I would play with the bitch anyway. So, I- Ma'am, if you in the beef sector and you don't know people are going to be shady, you might want to beg out of the jail. See, that's why I don't, I don't be, I, I'll be in the beef sector like a few minutes at a time. I don't just really hang out there. I, I just be there long enough to have my hood pass, but 
I don't really be there because I know everybody there is shady, including Trish. She shades me all the time. I digress. And on her panel, and she's trying to come on her face, and then somebody was like, yo. So I was like, all right, let me drag this bitch proper. So I was like, listen, go ahead and do what you got to do. When I get home, drag you. So that's what I did. And um, in the midst of me discussing with everybody how Chef Boyardee is raising her children, Somebody came up on my lab and was like, yo, did you see her? Wait, 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 wait. Did you go too fast? Okay, I'm sorry. Yeah, so I think he she must owe, I think she must owe that motherfucker some um, alimony or palimony or whatever it's called. So that, that nigga's raising her kids, all right? Because the bitch, all she does is RD. Wow. The the guy who makes some um, SpaghettiOs and, and ravioli and all that shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah but who, who are you? This is how it goes down in the beef sector. So for you T sector people, you thought, y'all, yeah, these they they not they ain't no Adrian slaves or nothing that they report on. They report on each other. This is this how they get down on each other. You you don't have to be famous. They just they just drag you just because they woke up and felt like dragging. Oh, who's, no, who's just the real one. <laughs> the real chef that motherfucker is the one feeding her motherfucking kids wow same thing so he's busy and she's not so I told the bitch I said listen until this whole white man is on your house feeding your kids you can't say shit to me so that's how that went down and so basically she called herself to mom I didn't know you were about logic, I like logic. Don't talk about logic, huh? Did they jump you? Who? Client misunderstood. Never. No. Okay. Damn, misunderstood's name has been popping for like four weeks straight. Young lady, cut the fuck up. As long as they talking about you, YouTube is picking up that algorithm. I don't know what you're doing, but keep doing it. But it appears whenever you did that little show with Tommy, y'all set the motherfucking YouTube streets on fire. And they ain't stopped talking about you since. First of all, they came separate. So they didn't even know each other back then. Shug was fucking crazy even way before he was fucking um <gasps> So there's three women. Yeah, so he was fucking Shug Clyde Diva. Clyde Diva is, brought his ass out to um no wait, I forgot how it happened. Wait, no I think Suge went out to Cal how'd it happen? She went to Ohio because she said her aunt passed away. How you lie? See, this is what type of dirtbag hoes these bitches are. This bitch lied and said her aunt died. That her dog ate her homework looking ass and that sh- that's why she went to Ohio because <laughs> she wanted to fuck. That's all that was. And then instead of her taking a woman wanting to have solidarity to drag a nigga with her, she wants to be like, oh, no, I heard something about him wanting to have a baby with you, so now I'm upset. See, this is why I can't fuck with these bitches. So that's basically what happened. And so I'm like, leave a card said that and said that. Man. What do you say? I can't believe a man said that to someone from YouTube. Did you ever meet uh, Shug ever? No, ma'am. You were no, ma'am. Got it. No. Even though you spoke with him on the phone for 24 hours and showed you. Uh, yeah. Um, no, wait. No, no, no. I didn't show my whole house. Calm down on that. <laughs> So she showed her titties to Shug. That's what Trish just said. Y'all heard it. I was waiting for you to stop me at 24 hours. Right, right. No, no, no. The 24 hours is okay. <laughs> oh, God. Real life. This is too much. So how is your relationship with him now? We have like a, you know, there is, but so far he will go, and but so far I will go. We have a mutual respect. Um, you know, Suge knows at the end of the day that he ain't got no hate for me at all. And he knows that anything I said about him, he asked for it. And so that way he's going to let me hold that. You know what I'm saying? Or he's going to hold that, however you want to look at it. But 
in terms of like saying bad shit about each other after that, like we don't drag each other anymore. Like, and you know, people have tried to threaten me with, oh, you know, I'm gonna call Suge and ask. I'm like, God, matter of fact, why don't you hurry up and call him right now? Because I know for a fact that anyone could call him and ask him some shit. And if he was able to, he can't, but let's just say he could then he wouldn't do it. Just like I wouldn't do it. Like, we just have a mutual respect. And no, I don't think he's a pedophile. You know what I'm saying? When that bitch, um, Nicole... Wait, so, so, let me ask you a question. Do you feel that Tommy Sotomayor breed it? Oh, God. Trish hates Tommy Sotomayor. I, I don't know why she is. And people, whenever someone asks you, if somebody come up to you on YouTube and say, let me ask you a question... Plead the fifth. It's never going to be anything that benefits you at all at the end of that sentence. Just don't do it. Let me, let me listen to what the hell she said about my G. Follow, retweet, like. All these dirty dicks on YouTube. Yeah, I think he has a lot to do with it. Yeah. I, I agree. I agree. Trish. So, yeah, that, yeah. That, that is bullshit, so they're Trish. They're just their penises around to YouTube broads and they're smashing. <sighs> And, um, you realize you just blame one man for internet fucking. So they weren't back page in MySpace and Black Planet and all that shit didn't exist to then. I'm going to get the fuck up out of here before I get in trouble with my good sis Trish because I, I don't got time for her because she's a bit obsessive and she won't leave me alone. And yeah, Trish, smash it. Y'all. Petty Springer Show, that's the name of the live. If y'all want to catch her, she's still currently live. And it's, yeah, she's going to be live for a couple hours. Peace.